Hello students, I am Manoj Pundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen that the frequency hopping spread spectrum technique. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the next frequency, uh, the next spread spectrum technology, direct sequence spread spectrum technology. Okay, first of all, let's see the overview of the frequency hopping spread spectrum transmitter and receiver. In this diagram, we can see, that, see here that the transmitter and receiver of the frequency hopping spread spectrum. In the transmitter, the serial binary data is given to the frequency shift king modulator. Remember that the frequency shift king modulator or FSK modulator is two tone frequency modulator that means the output of this modulator is of two sine waves having the different frequencies and this is given to the input of the mixer the another input of the mixer is from the frequency synthesizer which is driven by the pseudo random code generator block okay this signal is mixed with the mixer or modulates with the mixer and then it given to the band pass filter it sends the proper signal towards the RF power amplifier for the transmission the signal through the antenna the receiving antenna receives this signal and given to the wideband RF power amplifier this amplifier reproduces this signal and gives to the mixer the another input of the receiver mixer is from frequency synthesizer and which is driven by PSN code generator the two blocks in the transmitter and the receiver the PSN code generator are identical with each other and they must be synchronized with each other okay then the mixed signal is given to the IF amplifier to produce the FSK signal the FSK demodulator demodulates the signal and the output of the FSK demodulator is the original serial data. I hope you all remember this operation in FSK transmitter and FSK receiver. Now let's see our today's topic the direct se sequence spread spectrum technology. The spread spectrum increases the bandwidth of the signal compared to the narrow band by spreading the signal. There are two major types of spread spectrum, frequency hopping spread spectrum and direct sequence spread spectrum. The frequency hopping spread spectrum spreads the signal by hopping from one frequency to the another across the bandwidth of 83 megahertz. That means in frequency hopping spread spectrum, the signal is hopped from the different frequencies or in FHSS there are number of carriers frequencies are used okay the direct sequence spread spectrum spreads the signal by adding the redundant bits to the signal prior to the transmission which spreads the signal across 22 megahertz okay the process of adding redundant information to the signal is called as the processing gain. Let's see once again the definition. The process of adding redundant information to the signal is known as the processing gain. The redundant information bits are called as pseudo random numbers or PN. Okay. The direct sequence spread spectrum works on the combining information bits or the data signals with higher data rate bit sequence or the pseudo random number PN. The PN is also called as the chipping code. Okay, that means the pseudo random number is called as the chipping code and the bits resulting from the combination of the information bits with the chipping code is called as the chips. Okay, let's see the block diagram of the DSSS transmitter. Okay, this is the block diagram of the transmitter in which we can see here that there is the XOR gate 
the PSN code generator, FSK modulator and RF power amplifier. As shown in the block diagram, the serial binary data is applied to one input of the XOR gate and the serial pseudo random code generated by the PSN code generator is applied to the other input. That means in this diagram we can see here that the serial binary data is given to one input of the XOR gate and the another input is from the pseudo random code generator. Okay. The PSN code occurs faster than the input binary data applied to the XOR input. We know that the pseudo random code is having higher data rate than the serial binary data rate. Okay. The function of XOR gate can be understood by the waveforms and here are the waveforms. Okay. In this waveform we can see here that there is a data 1 and 0 and a pseudo random bit stream or pseudo random number is given. We can see here that the data rate for the data rate is much slower than the pseudo random bit stream. Okay. That means for one bit of data there are number of the pseudo random numbers let's see the operation in this operation between the pseudo random bit stream and the data the xor operation is performed okay that means here the value of the pseudo random bit is high okay or is one and here the value for the data is also one we know that one xor with one we get zero Again, here 1 XOR with 1, we get 0. Now here, here the pseudo random bit is 0 and the binary data bit is 1. We know that 0 XOR with 1, we get 1. Okay. Now here again, this bit is 1 and here the data bit is 0. Hence, we get 1 XOR with 1, that means 0. Here, the bit is 0 and the data bit is 1 hence we get here 1. I hope you all understand this XOR process. We know that or uh, I hope you all understand the truth table of XOR gate. That means if A and P are the two bits and if we want to perform the XOR operation between them then 0 XOR with 0 gives output 0. 0 XOR with 1 gives output 1, 1 XOR with 0 gives output 1, but 1 XOR with 1 gives output 0. That means whenever both the inputs are similar, then we get the 0 output and when both the inputs are different, then we get 1 output. Okay. Let's see once again here. Here first one is the bit is 1 and the data bit is also 1. 1 XOR with 1, we get 0. Here the pseudo random bit is 1 and the data bit also 1. 1 XOR with 1, we get a 0. Here, the pseudo random bit is 0 and the data bit is 1 and 0 XOR with 1, we get here 1. Let's see here, the data, the pseudo random bit is 0 and the data bit is 1. Hence, 0 XOR with 1, we get here 1. Let's consider here. Here the data bit is uh, the pseudo random bit is 0 and the data bit is 0. 0 XOR with 0 we get 0 here. I hope you all understand the basic process here. Okay. This is the same diagram but here some waveforms are additionally shown. Okay. The output signal developed is applied to the PSK modulator that means phase shift king modulator. As shown in above figure, the carrier phase is switched between 0 and 180 degree by the 1s and zeros of XOR gate output. That means this is the output of XOR gate and we know that this output of XOR gate is depend on the data bit number and pseudo random sequence or pseudo random number. Okay, The XOR operation is performed between the two bits and we get here the output of XOR gate. Here is the phase of this, this wave is depend on this output that means whenever there is one output it having this 
phase of zero degree and whenever it has the zero output it has the phase of 180 degree i hope you all understand these things let's see once again okay let's see here the output of xor gate is one hence we get here the phase shift of zero degree here the output of xor gate is zero hence we get here phase shift of 180 degree okay i hope you all understand this process or these things now let's see the block diagram of direct sequence spread spectrum receiver here in this receiver we can see here that there are three mixers are used mixer first mixer second and mixer third out of which the mixer first and mixer third are identical with each other okay because it has the input from local oscillator and if oscillator let's see the details about this one by one as shown in the block diagram the broadband spread spectrum signal is received through antenna is applied through broadband rf amplifier okay the broadband signal is mixed with the local oscillator to translate the signal down to lower if in mixer and then connected to the mixer second okay that means the output of the rf amplifier is given to the mixer and the another input of the mixer first is from the local oscillator which is tuned at the rf frequency and this is output of the mixer one is given to the input of the mixer two the mixer three produces the signal using psn code generator sequence and mixed with mixer two to get another if signal here we get another if signal because mixer three is gives the signal from psn code generator okay then the output of mixer three is identical to the output of the mixer one but shifted in time okay that means the output of the mixer one and output of the mixer three is identical with each other but they are shifted in time with each other the comparison process called the correlation is done in the mixer two here in mixer two the correlation process is done the correlation process in the mixer is produce the signal that is averaged in the low pass filter at the output of mixer two the original serial binary data is obtained at the output of the low pass filter the signal received at this level is called as dispread signal okay that means here we get the spreaded signal like this and here we get the displayed signal the direct sequence spread signal spectrum is also called as code division multiple access or cdma system okay here is the waveform for the transmitter and receiver is shown in which we can see here that a is the data input and b is the locally generated pseudo random bit stream b in c the a x or b operation is done that means here a has the value 1 b has the value 1 hence c has the value 0 okay because 1 x or with 1 we know that 0 by x oring these two bits we get the data to be transmitted this data is transmitted and it is received by the receiving antenna then the reverse process is done to obtain the original data i hope you all understand these things now let's see the advantages of direct sequence spread spectrum system there are number of advantages but let's see some important advantages of it the first one is the system has very high degree of discrimination against the multiple signal okay that means in this system the if the multiple signals are present then the system can differentiate each signal the interference caused by the multiple reception is minimized successfully that means the interference is minimum the performance of the dsss system in presence of noise is superior than fhss that is the noise is the noise in dsss system is very less the system combats the 
international interference or jamming most effectively that means for the jamming problem the dsss system is very effective that means the dsss system is fight against the jamming problem very effectively let's see some disadvantages of the system the first one is the acquisition time is too large this makes the dsss system slow second one is the channel bandwidth required is very large but this bandwidth is less than that of the fhss system the synchronization is affected by the variable distance between transmitter and receiver let's see some applications of this system first one is to combat the international interference or jamming that means to fight with the jamming problem to reject the unintentional interference in obtaining the message privacy in code division multiple access with dsss okay i hope you all understand both the fhss that means frequency hopping spread spectrum and the direct sequence spread spectrum technology let's see some basic differences between them first one is in frequency hopping spread spectrum the dwell time is 400 millisecond while in dsss there is no dwell time in fhss the lower throughput 2 or 3 mbps in dsss the higher throughput 11 mbps in fhss the better nv noise base immunity to interference in direct sequence spread spectrum the poorer noise immunity to interference the cost of the frequency hopping spread spectrum is high and the cost of direct sequence spread spectrum is low in fhss the lower interpermeability and in dsss the higher interoperability sorry interoperability the last difference is that in frequency hopping spread spectrum more user density near about 79 and in direct sequence spread spectrum less user density near about only 3 okay i hope you all understand this point thank you